Good morning. Welcome to the fifth edition of Coach's Corner, Penn State University, Lehigh Valley men's basketball. My name is Coach Daoud, and I'll be the moderator for the show and want to welcome everyone. Um, today, it's uh, Monday. I believe it's the 12th of November here at Penn State University, Lehigh Valley. We are currently uh, in the final exam mode, so to speak, all week, final examinations for all of our players and the rest of the student body here at Penn State University, Lehigh Valley. Uh, therefore, no games, no practice, no nothing. So all week, student athletes will have an opportunity to focus on hopefully doing well on their final examinations, catching up on any last work or anything they need to do during the week, and they can rest assured they, they will not be challenged by uh, the fact that they need to go to practice which will be, I think, a welcome for these guys. Uh, we've been undermanned, so to speak, throughout the season, our first inaugural season. And we started out with 10 players and currently are at seven. Um, so it's pretty challenging, I must say. And I always like to uh, reiterate the fact that these seven guys are the foundation and the, the rock, really, of our program and without those guys, there would not be a program to speak about. So um, for them, I think the reward lies in the fact that we talked about last edition, uh, the advent of some new players coming second semester, spring, who will bring some added relief for the guys that we have currently and also some talent. Um, not to say these guys aren't talented, but these guys we're bringing in are maybe a little bit better and putting everyone together as a team I think will bode well for the program and hopefully for some success excuse me some success in the future I'd like to highlight in talking about new recruits an individual by the name of Rainier Riddick uh, Rainier Riddick is from Allentown Pennsylvania he was recently accepted uh, as a student for the spring of 2012 here at Penn State University, Lehigh Valley. Rainier Riddick is a six foot guard. He is a Northampton Community College transfer student who did not play last year for Northampton and had ambition and aspirations of coming to Penn State University, Lehigh Valley once they found out, actually, he found out that we were going to have a program. He is very athletic, uh, six foot, um, is a high riser, uh, can dunk the ball very easily, very, very, very good three-point shooter, handles the ball, and can attack the basket very well. Uh, he's definitely going to help our program, and I see him as probably one of the players that we will see go on to bigger and better things once he leaves us here at Penn State University, Lehigh Valley. He played at a prep school down in Malvern, Pennsylvania, called Phelps. Phelps School is a prep school. They have a pretty good program, um, you know, noted for having good players down there. And um, he was a part of that program and started and did quite well. So we welcome Rainier as soon as he can get his stuff together, registers, and he should be ready for us in the spring, commencing in January, and we look forward to that. Now let's recap what has transpired since we last got together. We played against Philly Community College down in Trent, excuse me, not Trenton, Camden, the other New Jersey city, Camden, New Jersey. Um, for some reason, Philadelphia Community College is having some renovations done to their gym. So we played at Rutgers Camden and I had not been down at Rutgers Camden for quite a while. I actually used to do some AAU tournaments down there. Probably was one of the first guys that ever even used that place and was offered an opportunity to use it back in the early 90s. And so I had not been down to Rutgers Camden in quite a, quite a while. And I was pleasantly surprised at the renovations and the upgrade that they've done to the gym and the facilities, very nice. Um, in saying that, uh, it didn't help our cause. <laughs> we, we, we got down there and although the game was, I think, I, it's fair to say that we played well considering what's traditionally known as a type of competition you find at Philly Community College 
we did well. Um, on paper, if you would have said Philly community against us, you know, most people based on our past recent history would have said that would be our worst game and probably would have gotten beaten far worse than any game we played. But that was not the case. Um, actually, it was one of our better games. For what reason? And that's one of the beauty and joys about sport. You never know how people are going to respond and what things will happen during the course of a game. And for whatever reason, our guys played well. You know, we were definitely out, man. They must have had at least 15 guys, and half of the guys on the team were more than, I'd say, 6'3", six, 6'4", six, very big and tall. Um, but I thought the guys were able to gather together all the things that we spoke about and trained and practiced on and did a good job of bringing those things together and really, you know, giving a good effort. And I was very proud of them. Uh, and a losing cause, however, nonetheless, as I always tell you, we're trying to get better. And that's the thing that's most important for us, just improving and getting better with each opportunity. And I think that was an indication there in the way that they played and the way that they fought during that game. So I, my hat's off to them for that. Uh, the next time which we played was uh, the Penn State York. Um, that was on a – was that a Wednesday? No, it was actually it was a Thursday. So it was kind of an off day, Thursday. It's one of the only – actually, it looks like the only Thursday game that we play the entire year. So uh, for whatever reason that happened – it did, and Thursday, December 8th, we went down to York, Pennsylvania and played against Penn State University, York. Uh, unfortunately, another loss, <laughs> but I'd like to highlight uh, two of our players, Ryan Dieter and guard Steve Lezetsky. Both were in double figures, and that was a, game, a strange game, and one of those times or sometimes or sometimes depending on your your team and program many times you'll go out into a contest and you're you're really you don't know why kids or or why players act or respond in certain ways and this was one of those games for us i mean we just went out there with nothing and i'm not sure if it's just impending finals end of the semester you know, girl problems, I don't know what it was, but we just were so flat, and I was disappointed the first half. And it took all of our staff and prodding and coaching and yelling and all the things that we do in coaching to get these guys motivated to play a little bit harder with a little bit more motivation and enthusiasm. And um, they did respond, and, and Steve and, and Ryan were two of those players who, who really did. They both were in double figures, um, and so – they did a good job in the second half, and, and the rest of the team as well did a very good job the second half. But, I mean, it's part of the problem that you have with many teams on all levels, you know, just getting people psychologically motivated and, and you know, ready to perform at this consistent same level, you know, game in and game out. So it's, it's a difficult thing. So um, we did, uh, like I said, end up, you know, with a pretty good – effort at the second half or in the second half and we look forward to the next game again we're off this week no practice we'll come back on saturday um, this saturday we'll have one practice and then we'll play our final game for the semester okay that'll be on december 18th sunday uh, we'll host penn state university dubois I would imagine that's how it's pronounced, Dubois or Dubois, spelled B-O-I-S, so I'm not certain, but uh, we'll be hosting them at Southern Lehigh High School at 1 p.m., 1 in the afternoon, okay? Sunday, December 18th, we host Penn State University Dubois at 1 p.m. at Southern Lehigh. Um, and we are officially able to add players after December 16th, so... If any of the guys that we have coming in this semester, if they're uh, registered and, and all set, they may even be able to dress up and play. So it could be a treat for some if you plan to come on out. All right, so that's about it. Hopefully we'll see some of you out there supporting the program on Sunday, our final game for the semester, December 18th, and then we return 
back after the break. We start practice January 2nd and a game about a week after that. So until then, Coach Daoud, Coach's Corner, Penn State University, Lehigh Valley. Thanks.